You are watching EAC News. Thanks for joining us. A North Korean man was sentenced to death by firing squad after being found smuggling the famous Netflix series Squid Game. Squid Game is a South Korean survival drama series which draws from a similarly named Korean children's game. And like the drama series, one man has risked his life to play the real life deadly game in North Korea. North Korean President Kim Jong-un is waging war on slang, jeans and foreign films. The country has a sweeping law which seeks to stamp out any kind of foreign influence, harshly punishing anyone caught with foreign films, clothing or even using slang. The North Korean guards make sure that everyone knows the penalty for smuggling illicit videos is death. Because of this strict law, a North Korean man was sentenced to death by firing squad after students were caught watching a smuggled copy of the popular Netflix show Squid Game. The man was accused of bringing digital copies of the series back from China and selling them on USB flash drives. The student who bought a copy was sentenced to life in prison, while six others who watched were sentenced to five years of hard labor. Teachers and administrators at the school are also being punished, with some being fired and sent to work in mines. 109 Sangmu, officially known as Surveillance Bureau Group 109, is a specialized government strike force that hunts down illegal video watchers. While consuming media content from capitalist countries like the US and South Korea is illegal under North Korean dictatorship and punishable by death, this is the first time the elimination of reactionary thought and culture law has been applied in a case involving minors. It is reported that the regime will now mercilessly interrogate those arrested to trace every person in the distribution chain, leading to further arrests. Residents are engulfed by anxiety as the seven caught will be mercilessly interrogated until the authorities can find out how the show was smuggled in when the border is closed due to the pandemic. North Korea is taking this incident very seriously, saying that the students' education was being neglected. The Central Committee has dismissed the school principal, their youth secretary, and their homeroom teacher. Darshana Gochen, EAC News.